Hi there, Cleveland County Schools teachers. If you haven't fallen in love yet with Padlet, or at least in like, then I'm going to change your life today. Padlet is a free service that is super versatile and it's so easy to make on the fly. If you need a Padlet, you can make one in less than a minute. So I just went to Padlet.com. I signed in uh, with my Google account and clicked Create a Padlet. And so I'm going to give it a title. So let's say my class is studying pyramids. I might call it pyramids. I might give it a description. OK. Now I can decide how the responses are going to be, freeform, grid, or stream. So freeform is fine. I can pick a background for it. So here's a quick and easy one. But I might choose from any of these. Or I can upload my own picture at the top by add your own. And now if I want to give it a little uh, icon up there, I can, or I don't have to. I can easily avoid doing that. So maybe I want this little light bulb for their ideas. Notice that appears up there. All right, so I didn't have to do any of that. I can just say done. Now, if I want, I can give them this address or I can even create my own URL. So maybe it's going to be pyramids. That'll actually change the URL of the entire Padlet. Okay, so it's all done and it's already set for anyone to work on. So I just click next and it's ready. So what will students see when they go to the Padlet? So I've opened a new browser with my Padlet in it. Notice the URL up here is very simple. It's just my username plus the, the part I added, pyramids. So when students get to this page, you could just send that out via Gazaz uh, or post it on your class webpage or use Remind or however it is that you use to send out links to your students. So when students get to this page, all they have to do is double click on it and then they can write the title of their post and then they can write what they learned. And that appears in real time on the Padlet. It's a virtual sticky board. It's a virtual cork board where students can add notes to it. Now, when students add their notes, they can also click the microphone to add an attachment or take a photo. They could take a video of themselves. They could take a picture. They can add files, they can add links, they can add embedded video. All that stuff can be put into Padlet. If you want to have your students design, uh, do some web design and not have to have logins or a lot of knowledge about web design, and if you want it to be something you could very quickly delete afterwards, you can have them design a Padlet just by giving them a Padlet page and letting them put notes on it. As your Padlet, if you're logged in, you can control whatever goes on it. So here I am as a student, not logged in. Back here on my Padlet, I have the power to get rid of that note. This is where I'm logged in as a teacher. I can get rid of anything that appears on my Padlet that I don't want. You could add a graphic organizer as your background and have students uh, put things in, say, a Venn diagram. You could have students uh, add their notes and then you can rearrange them and sort of group them by idea. You can use it for virtual brainstorming. It is a super virtual, versatile tool. And I think once you get started with Padlet, you'll see how easy it is and how many uses it has. So there you go, Padlet.